Welcome to DSM Culture Cast, the art of building the building of art, presented by Silent Rivers Design Plus Build. Join us today as we explore the art of custom furniture. Silent Rivers and our sister company, Iowa Home Crafters, love to collaborate on custom furniture with our clients. Together, we put endless thought into each project through our thorough and creative design process. Follow along as we explore the art of custom furniture. Custom furniture is obviously custom made by one or two individuals. Whereas if you go to the furniture store, yeah, they've got plenty of beautiful big slab tables, but that stuff is coming out of basically a factory. Yeah, one of the differences between making versus manufacturing is taking an idea and bringing it to fruition, but we don't always know exactly all of the steps when we start. And so the process of making is bringing all those pieces together along the way, dealing with challenges, uh, making modifications, and also following your heart from the inspirational side of it, that as you've learned about the customer, you may decide to make changes along the way in the design as you've conversed with them and end up making it slightly different in the end than maybe what a drawing shows. Some of the custom projects that Iowa Home Crafters is known for, not only building homes, but furniture, tables, desks, uh, armoires, uh, benches, uh, built-in bookcases and shelving, just about anything that you can imagine that's inside of a, a home or an industrial facility, uh, we have the ability to make that. The furniture making and you know the specialty things that we do is really the, the very exciting and fun stuff that we get to do. My creative process really begins with communicating with the, the client or the potential client to find out what their needs are, specifically what they're looking for. The process that I use to design furniture is really starting at the customer end of it, starting with either inspiration or a vision and then moving more into the concepting stage where it's very collaborative. And the more collaborative it can be with the customer, usually the more satisfied they are within the product. I like them to have maybe some inspiration pictures from magazines or different places of different things that they like. I'll ask them, you know, what specifically about this one piece do you like? Do you like the leg? Do you like the, how the top is? Do you like it being turned? Do you like it being square? And I, I'll, just ask a series of questions to try and find out what they you know, really like about all their different inspiration pictures and then I'll try to combine that into one piece. Our wood choice generally depends on what else is happening within the home um, to, to match the, the trim work, to match the other uh, design details throughout the home. One of the things that we like to do is get the right mix of materials, whether it be wood, metal, uh, synthetics, or uh, lots of organic products that we make, especially with being wood, but they incorporate leather, glass. But one of the things that we try to do is to repurpose where possible. So if we can reuse timber from somebody's backyard and turn it into a, a bed frame and a whole bedroom suit, uh, then that's great and actually puts a a nice story behind it as well. What I like about custom is you can be guaranteed that every single aspect of your table has been scrutinized with, with a fine eye by somebody who is touching that with their own hands and making sure every detail is to their satisfaction. Thanks for tuning in to our latest culture cast presented by Silent Rivers Design Plus Build. For more information, on our sister company, Iowa Home Crafters, visit iowahomecrafters.com. For more inspiration on the art of building and the building of art, visit silentrivers.com. See you next year.